Whether it's learning about earnings estimates, exploring the Zach's rank, or adding to your financial toolkit, get the education and resources to help you become a more successful investor here on Investing the Zach's Way. This is not your average Investing the Zach's Way piece. No, not at all. Today we're joined by a special guest making a return appearance here in this segment, Kevin Matris, the head of our Research Wizard Division at Zach's.com and top stock screener here. He's going to get a little bit more detailed on screening. Last time you were here, you just kind of overviewed the screening section on Zax.com. Today, you're actually going to dig into it for us. That is right. Yeah, the last time we did this, we went over some of the uh, the different resources that are available on the screening section of Zax.com, uh, kind of pointing where everything was, pointing out where everything was, and showing the different kinds of uh, features and functionalities that are available. Um, we also talked about really why screening is so important, especially in today's investing. Mm -hmm. And in short, you know, with over 10,000 stocks out there, you have to be able to find a good, reliable, and repeatable way of being able to find the good ones. And screening kind of helps you do that. And you're actually <coughs> going to do some screening for right. us, right? Yeah, since uh, in the last video, you know, we kind of took a, took a brief walkthrough of what the screening page looks like. Um, but now since everybody knows what the, uh, the screening page looks like, knows where everything is, I figured we would kind of dig a little deeper. I would actually build a screen so you can see how easy it is. And also, too, I'm going to show you all of the other things you can do once you generate a list of qualified stocks. Great. <laughs> so check it out. So just go to Zacks.com. You're going to go to screening, and you're going to go to the custom screener, and then the screening page pops up. For this demonstration, we're going to use the beta screener since that's going to be the uh, main interface moving forward. So let's click on beta screener. Let's resize this page so we can see the whole thing. Excellent. Now, before we build a screen, let me just touch on a couple of things real quick. If you want to access any of the predefined screens that Zax has already created, click on the predefined button. If you want to access the screens that you yourself have already created and saved, you would do so by going to the My Screens button. But if you want to create a brand new screen on your own, all you have to do is click on the New Screen button. Main screen pops up. You'll see a list of categories off to the left and a list of items in the right. There's 19 different categories and there's roughly 130 different fundamental data items to pick and choose from. To start building a screen is very easy. Let's say you want to find companies greater than or equals to $5. I'll go to the price and price changes category. I'll go to current price as my item. I'll keep my operator set to greater than or equals to. I'll type in five for five bucks. I'll click add and now that's been added to my screen. Let's do something with volume. So I'll go to size and share volume. I'll go find my item, average volume 20 day shares. I'll keep the operator set to greater than or equals to. I'll type in 100,000. I'll click on add. And now that has also been added to my screen. Now let's do something with growth. I'll go to uh, EPS growth. Let's look at the projected growth rate. So I'll say this year's estimated growth rate, F1 over F0. I'll keep it set to greater than or equals to. I'll type in 15 for 15%. 15 I'll click add, and now this has been added to my screen as well. You're also going to notice too that as I continue to add things to my screen, you'll see it'll tell you how many uh, matches are coming through. And as you continue to add stuff to the screen, you'll see the number of matches get smaller. Now, if you are a premium member and you want to, let's say, add in the Zach's rank, let's go to the Zach's rank and recommendations. Let's say we want to find companies with a Zach's rank of a 1 or a 2. So I will change the operator to less than or equals to. I'll say 2. I'll click on Add. And now that's been added to my screen as well. Now you'll see we have 197 companies. It's still too many. So if I want to narrow this down a bit, I can remove this item. And instead of looking at 1s or 2s, let's just say we want to only find the companies with a Zach's rank of a 1. So we've changed it up. I now hit add. Now I see I've got 60 matches. If I'm happy with my screen, all I have to do is hit run screen. And then a list of all of my qualified tickers will pop up. 
Now, if let's just say that I still want to go back and change it up a bit, all I have to do is go to Edit Criteria. I am back to the main page. Let's say I want to find companies that are within the top industries. So I'll go find my item, Zach's Industry Rank. For this, I'll say less than or equals to 100, which is the best 50% of industries. I will say add. Now I've narrowed down my, uh, my matches to 41. Once again, if I'm happy with my screen, I'll say run screen. And now I see a list of all of the qualified companies. Now once you're on this page, there is more stuff you can do. If I click on the company name or the ticker symbol, quote pages will pop up. So if I click on the ticker, a small little quote page pops up. A bunch of key measures as well as uh, the Zach's rank information is displayed here. If I click on the actual company name, a larger window will pop up with even more information to look at. Let's click out of here. If I click on this little report icon, I'll see a list of all of the stories that are related to this, uh, this company pop up here. And if I click on any one of these links, I can read the full story. If I click on this little chart icon, I'll see a fill chart, and then I can access our advanced interactive charting by clicking on this link. If I like this stock so much I want to add it to my portfolio or watch list, all I have to do is click on this little plus icon. Now, if I add a ticker, I can add it to an existing portfolio, or I can even create a portfolio on the fly. Let's do that. I'll say create new portfolio. I'll give this a name. Let's say one, two, three. I'll say add ticker. Now I see I have successfully created my portfolio one, two, three, and I added my ticker. If I want to add all of these stocks to my portfolio, I can click on the add tickers to portfolio button. Now I'll see little check boxes next to all of these companies. If I don't want a stock added to my portfolio, I can uncheck it. But if I like it all, all I have to do is select the portfolio I want to add it to. I'll go back to one, two, three. I'll click on add tickers. And I'll see all of these tickers have now been successfully added to my portfolio. Now, if I want to export all of this stuff to Excel, I can by clicking on the export button. Let's just say that I wanted to change the view I see in my report. Not necessarily change the screen, but actually change the, the items that are displayed in my report. Click on the edit view. I'm back to the main page. By checking these different boxes, this will let me add things to my display. I just checked the Zach's recommendation. Now I'll hit run screen. I get the same 41 companies, but now I see the Zach's recommendation displayed as well. Now, if I am happy with my screen, all I have to do is go to Save Screen. I can give this a name. I'll call this one Test. I'll click Save Screen. Now I see my new screen is saved. The next time I want to run this, I just go to Zax.com, go to the screening page, go to My Screens, find the screen I want, hit Load Screen, the screen is loaded, and then a list of my qualified companies has now been displayed. And once you start using a screener, you're going to find yourself using it again and again to help yourself find the winningest stocks. So this all really looks pretty easy. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Initially, I was kind of intimidated by screeners. I always thought they were kind of difficult to use and to navigate through. But this does look like uh, a quick and easy way to find just the right kind of stocks that you might be looking right. to invest in. Yeah, I think once you start using a screener, I think you're going to find it to be very empowering. Uh, I think you're going to find yourself starting to make better decisions. And I also think people are going to realize that they're going to be able to better manage their portfolio in a lot less time. All right, there you have it. A detailed rundown of how to use our screener on Zax.com. Just another tool to help you learn how to invest better the Zax way. With Kevin Matris, I'm Terry Ruffalo.